Let's compare some bags from Rothy's. Happy March 1st! Usually during the month of March, I do March Bagness. Um, since I was pregnant, I feel like I've missed a lot of reviews that I've wanted to do. So instead of doing the normal March Bagness thing, I'm actually going to be doing way more reviews this month than usual. Usually I put out one or two videos a week. This month it's going to be a video every single weekday, sometimes on Saturdays, and I'm going to be doing a couple of giveaways this month as well, so you don't want to miss that. I thought it would be fun to start off the March Bagness month with a comparison. So today we are going to be comparing three different styles from Rothy's. A little while ago I did an unboxing for the Essentials tote from Rothy's, and since then I have grabbed a um, couple of other options and instead of doing completely separate reviews for each I thought it would be actually more beneficial and helpful for you guys if I looked at all of them and we compared them so this one here is called the bucket bag um, it is available on their website but I don't believe they're I don't believe it's available in this color anymore um, but they do have other colors available um, same thing with this essentials tote I'm not sure that this print is available but the style itself is so we will go over that as well and then the brand new one that just came out is the lightweight tote and it is it's so lightweight and there's tons of fun colors and I think they're even coming out with more I believe this one that I have here is out of stock but I think they're bringing it back so um, stay on the look out for that it's called evening sun something something evening but I love this color it's a really beautiful coral color I actually just got this one so it does still have the tag on there um, just because I was deciding if it's something that I want to keep but I think it is because it's such a fun bag let me explain Rothy's a little bit um, to begin with their bags are made with um, marine plastic so it's like plastics that are going to be headed to the ocean it's really awesome that these are made out of recycled materials fabric itself is such a cool unique unique fabric. I would say it's like a like thicker like a canvas but it does have a little more texture to it but it's like softer than like a canvas would be so it's a very unique fabric. The way that they have like done the texture and the really cute um, details with the blue stripe there's also like a blue key leash here just the way that they've made the bags feel really special um, I enjoy. All the handles are the same material it's just kind of rolled over and I like that it's kind of more of a flat handle so it is nice and comfortable to wear on your shoulder. The lightweight tote has a base in there that does say Rothy's, um, but it is not removable. The other bags do have a removable base. So let's look at the bucket tote here. It's kind of hard to see in there, but I'll pull it out. There is a removable base. This is also machine washable. Did I even mention that? These bags are machine washable. So you can throw them into the washing machine and get them looking as good as new, which is such a cool feature for these beautiful tote bags. Um, anyways, you can take out the base and then throw your bag into the washing machine and it's nice that um, you can throw these bases into the bottom to just give the bags a little more structure although you can see this one's empty and it stands up great on its own um, that does include the lightweight tote I was a little bit worried about this one being able to stand up on its own and for the most part you can see it will stand up on its own even when it's empty I think the one that probably has the most structure is this um, essentials tote it does actually have on the bottom of this bag um, two pieces of rubber here so I think that really gives it a good firm base to work with um, the essentials tote and the lightweight tote just have one way to carry you can carry it just by these tote handles you will notice that the essentials tote if I hold them about the same height the the essentials tote does have longer um, handles and the lightweight tote is a little bit shorter. I wish it had just a little bit longer of a drop length on the handle, but for the most part it does fit um, comfortably there. I'll show you at the end what these all look like on the body. I love the bucket bag for its um, extra ways to carry. You do have two D-rings and attached you can 
put on a shorter strap. It's a really nice thick strap and it's very comfortable to wear on your arm. It's a good length. And then attached to the bag, this is something you cannot remove. Really beautiful thick um, messenger strap. I do like that you can adjust it though. I have it kind of on a short setting right now, but great for just over your shoulder or you can even wear it crossbody, which is really great. Um, I love being able to go crossbody so that way you're kind of more hands free. Let me show you what the bags look like side by side so you can get a good idea um, of the sizes. All right, here they are side by side. The bucket tote is definitely gonna be the tallest of the three, um, but the lightweight and the essentials tote are gonna be a little bit wider than the bucket one. I actually wanna see these two compared. I do have the essentials tote all packed up right now. Lightweight tote is gonna be taller, but the essentials is a little bit wider. Um, but the nice thing about the essentials tote is it's gonna have a little more organization for you inside compared to the lightweight one. So I think what I'll do since I have this one all packed up is show you what I have in here and then transfer it to the other bag so you can see how the items fit. All right, with this essentials tote, you can see the strap for the bag goes all the way down the front and the back side and then continues on wraps all the way around here. So that's a really pretty detail. I thought this was interesting. You have a break here in the fabric. So instead of um, it just going all the way around, you have this break. And I think that's nice because when you open up the zipper, um, it gives you, it allows you to really open the bag nice and wide. There are no pockets on the exterior. And this is actually the only bag that does have a zippered closure. But you can see nice and wide opening there. I've packed it with everything I need for um, a newborn, but you could definitely pack this for like as a work bag, especially for traveling when things are getting dirty, um, like at the airport or anything. I love that you have the ability to throw this into the washing machine. It's so great. Um, also, I love that when you undo the zipper, these um, side panels just kind of lay flat against the bag and really allow you to see in without any um, zippers getting in your way. Right on top, I do have a covered goods um, nursing cover. And then underneath that, you can see I have Lily Jade packing cases. There's the set of three there. Um, let me move this stuff out of the way first. I just have thrown in a burp rag. I do have a Jujube Passy Pod here with a pacifier inside. Boogie wipes just thrown in on the corner there. And then um, let's get to this. So I have in the smallest piece um, a bunch of medical stuff, saline drops, gas drops, a nose Frida is in there. Um, and I do have the wristlet attached to this smallest piece. I love these Lily Jade packing cases because they do have the clear window in the front. The sizes are perfect for packing for um, my newborn. So that is the smallest piece. In the middle piece, this is kind of stuff for me. So I have some nursing pads here. I also have some deodorant, lotion, tweezers, floss, some makeup in there, a hairbrush, and then I've also thrown in some wipes in the back. And then the largest piece is the piece I'm using as my um, diapering kit. So I have newborn diapers in here, some baggies, and then also in here I'm keeping a Mina Bay um, wipes case, a Mina Bay um, changing pad. I haven't shared this on my channel yet, but I will be showing a review of the different changing pads that you can get from Mina Bay. So stay tuned for that. And I will be sure to link um, Lily Jade and the packing cases down below. Also in here I have a Mina Bay wet bag and this is a great, it's kind of a neoprene fabric. It's great for um, soiled clothing. So if she has a blowout, <laughs> we'll throw those soiled clothes into here. And then I do have an extra outfit in here um, just in case that happens. Now you're kind of getting a better look at the inside. Um, before I get to my Bodiment crossbody, I want to go through this um, zippered pocket. I love that you have some sort of organization in here um, with this pocket. So I have in here a lip gloss and then I also have an extra charger for my phone and then my phone is in there as well. And the zippers are so nice and smooth and I love that the fabric, it's not really stretchy but it does have some give to it and it just feels so nice. It's very easy to work with. So I do like to carry a smaller kind of crossbody or kind of fanny pack inside of my bigger bags. There are times when I'm able to like run to the store by myself and so I want to have all the essentials um, that I need in a smaller kind of quick trick bag. That way if I leave the baby with my husband I can just grab this out of the diaper bag and I'll have everything I need. And this particular one is from Bodiment. 
Let me get a close up there. I love the Bodamint little crossbody bags. They're perfect for carrying everything I need. There's a little snap closure right here. That's where I'm keeping um, receipts. And then of course zippers are nice and smooth. I do have on top just the um, crossbody strap itself. They do have a bunch of different options on their website. This is the one that comes with the bag though and it's really cute with the buckle adjustment there. Oh, I did want to show you on the back, you do have the option of wearing this as a fanny pack if you want to. Um, so very versatile little bag. The D-rings on the side for crossbody. These pieces here for wearing as a fanny. Inside of here, I'm keeping actually a lot. It fits so much and I can still fit my phone in there as well. Um, so just sitting in the middle, I have a couple of lip products. I'm keeping a silicone case that's holding earbuds. I have a Olive and June cuticle cream, tied to go pen just a regular pen. My keys are just thrown in the corner there. I have some Touchland hand sanitizer. And then right here I am keeping a um, Jujube coin purse. This has a bunch of band-aids in it. I tend to need band-aids, so um, I like having that with me in my smaller bag rather than just the main bag. Back here in this little slip pocket, I am keeping a thread wallet. And this just has a bunch of like loyalty cards, extra cards that um, I don't need all the time and I have some cash um, stuck in there. I am going to be doing a review on thread wallets soon, so stay tuned for that. There is a back zippered section in here. I'm keeping um, more receipts. And then turning this around, you have three card slots, but I do like that they are nice and big card slots so you can keep multiple cards there. So there you go. That is all of my essentials in this cute little Bodiment bag. That's everything that was inside of this essentials tote. I think those are um, pieces where you can attach different um, bags in there. Rothy's does carry organizer bags and um, I believe there is a piece that you can put in here to help you get more pockets and more organization. And I do love, again, that it zips closed and everything stays nice and secure in there. Now quickly, let's move all of that into the essentials tote and see how it fits. Okay, this bag does not have any sort of pockets on the inside, so there's no like specific pocket for um, this charger like I had in the essentials. So you could like hang stuff on the inside or the outside of the bag on those little straps. There's not like a perfect place to throw in my phone, like a little pocket or anything. So I'll just kind of put it off to the side here and know where it is in the front. I actually think there's more room um, width wise inside of that essentials tote because I did have a little more space um, for this Bodamint bag on the side. So it looks like um, I had more space width wise, but I have more room height wise here and it all fits just fine without being um, too big or too cumbersome. No type of closure. This is strictly a open tote bag kind of situation. And what's nice is you do have this little key leash to attach um, your keys to as well. All right, let's move this stuff into the bucket bag. Now this handle here kind of have to move out of your way to get in and out of the bag. Um, but you do have a little more organization inside of the bucket bag. You have a back slip pocket, and that does have a zipper on it as well. And then flipping this around, there are two big um, slip pockets and then the removable base. This is more of a vertical bag. Uh, that's the way I'm going to pack it. So I'm gonna throw in my Lily Jade packing cases vertically. I'm gonna put my Bodamint crossbody in one of those um, back pockets because they're nice and roomy and big that like fits like a glove So you can see the two pockets there. This fits so well inside of um, One of the pockets I'm gonna take the charger and put it inside of this zippered section But then there's also the slip pocket behind that so I'm gonna put my cell phone in there I'll put the boogie wipes inside of the other pocket and it is a really nice big roomy pocket, so I'm also going to throw in there the um, burp cloth on that side. I had more room inside of the other two, it seems. Everything's getting a little tight inside of this bag. I'm just going to throw my nursing cover right on top. Maybe like right there. Um, the cool thing about this one is it does have a really strong magnetic closure. So to kind of keep the bag a little more together than the lightweight tote, which has no kind of closure. Um, I do like that you have this 
magnet here to keep it together somewhat. But again, everything does fit in here um, pretty nicely. I think I like the way the other two pack a little bit better. Um, but I do love that you have the crossbody strap on this one. So that's kind of a tough decision there if you're deciding between the three. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. I know it's hard to choose just from some pictures on the website. So hopefully this little in-depth um, packing will help you decide which Rothy's bag would work best for you. If you have any questions about any of the styles, please let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for joining me for today's comparison and I will see you soon in my next one.